What is going on guys and girls? My name is James Offinksy and welcome back today to Roblox. How are we doing everyone? Welcome back, welcome back. Today we are jumping into Piggy Book 2 to rejoin Chapter 2 store and check out and talk about all of the secrets that you may have missed the first time around. So, it seems like in total there are actually four hidden notes. Some of them we didn't see in our first playthrough on the channel, and it gives us some really interesting information. There's also a few little Easter eggs, a few fun little bits and pieces. Today we're going to talk about all of it, and also the incredible cutscene that we got to see at the end of the chapter. So yeah, if you have any ideas and suggestions as we go along as to your theories and what you think is going to happen next, please feel free to type them in the comment section below. And yeah, it should be a good time. So let's jump in. Let's fire up Chapter 2, Book 2, Store. Let's jump in. And let's take a look around. Right, okay, here we go. We are firing this up. So once again, Zizzy says, uh, remember, we are going for batteries and getting out of here. And then Pony says, fine, but if I find any carrots, I'm taking them. He likes his carrots. Okay, so, um, yeah, there's a few things that we already kind of sort of worked out, I guess, from the beginning of this. So, actually... In book two, this is the first ever episode, well, chapter, in this storyline that happens directly after Plant, which was chapter 12 in the original Piggy. So, of course, if you remember chapter one here in book two, which was called Alleys, that was kind of a flashback to when we were a detective working on the job with Doggy. Now, this level, chapter two, is the first time that we play as characters after the events of Plant. In that cutscene at the end um, of chapter one, we go back to the safe place. We're talking, you know, with all of the dudes and ladies and they say, hey, we need to go and try and get some batteries to get this radio working. Now, the radio, we'll talk about that a bit later on, but that's kind of like a huge storyline sort of thing in chapter two. And of course, if you've seen that end cutscene already, shenanigans happened anyway. So, to be honest with you, I actually really wasn't expecting this kind of level as, like, a chapter two. So, I was kind of thinking about some sort of weird sort of, I don't know, maybe like a store or something, obviously, because there would be batteries there. But I wasn't expecting it to be this kind of, like, underground-style world. I was expecting it to be, like, an external building, maybe, like, an extension of the mall, something like that. However, there's a huge clue as to where we are actually located in the game which we'll talk about in just a second. But before that, there is actually a hidden note here in the car park area. <laughs> and as I think I mentioned in the last one, if Mini Toon has taught us anything, it is always to look underneath stuff. So as soon as you see cars, do you guys remember the true ending, the secret true ending in chapter one? What a nightmare that was trying to discover it, but the clue was underneath the car. <laughs> and in this one as well, there is also a hidden note underneath this yellow car. So this is one of these notes which is really, really, really difficult to read. Um, so it's going to be difficult to kind of get into a position to read this on screen. But good news is we actually already know what it says. So, yeah, can you guys... <laughs> you can kind of just see the ending. You can just see this little piece of paper. Anyway, this is what it actually says. It says, heard something going up north with the military. Sorry, heard something going on up north with the military. I wondered why they moved their bases to colder places. Now, this is really interesting. So I'll read it one more time. Heard something going up north with the military. I wonder why they'd move their bases to colder places. Now, this is a huge clue because if you guys remember the reveal trailer for Piggy Chapter 2, we saw this like super cold environment. We saw this building in the middle of nowhere and we saw Pony trying to actually get to that location. So what we kind of know now that it seems that that location is a military base and the only real sort of time we've actually played on a military base before this would have been in chapter 11 of Piggy where we were kind of in, you know, that sort of camp area. So what the military has to do with this kind of storyline and stuff, I'm not too sure, but there must be a reason why they are moving their bases to a cold environment. Now, I don't know, maybe the disease doesn't like cold environments and maybe it's, you know, not as reactive to that maybe they're planning something secret maybe they're building an army of crazy snowmen who knows but yeah i thought that was kind of interesting 
And I suppose the other question as well is who actually wrote this note and who left this under the car? Because based off what we know right now, the only person to actually physically go and trek out into that area is Pony because that's the person we saw in the trailer. However, we do know that at some point, different players and different characters are actually present in that military base in the cold. Because if you guys remember the doors, there's like a bunch of prison cells and we see a bunch of different characters popping up in that cutscene. Uh, but yeah, anyway, second little clue here. I thought this was kind of nifty. So this is Metro Station 7. Now we saw this when we first played and I was like, huh. So Metro was obviously a level in Piggy Chapter 1 and it was level 7, I believe. And this is Metro Station 7. So this is a really huge clue as to where we are actually located right now. So I'm actually going to walk into Piggy here in a second because we're going to go to Metro to show you guys this. But... If you kind of just remember this view, so remember like wall, metal grate, and then wall, and then we're going to get booked. Thank you very much. If we actually join Metro here, we can see where these two levels connect to themselves. So there you go. Boom. <laughs> if you guys remember wall, big metal thing, and then wall, a lot of people, including myself, kind of feel like this is actually on the other side of the store level from Chapter 2. So this would kind of make sense. So technically, you know, if you if you brought this grate up, you should be able to see the car park where we start off in Chapter 2 of Book 2. So I thought that was kind of nifty. That was kind of interesting. I don't know if we've ever had like a level where the two have been like super duper connected like this, but just to kind of give you like an idea Idea as to where we are at that particular point in this city, I think that alleyways, sorry, not alleyways, uh, store chapter two is directly behind this metal grating. So technically, if we were like looking on the other side of this wall, this is where it would say Metro and then it would say Station 7. So I thought that was kind of cool. Kind of nifty, I like that. Anyway, just before we go back, I'm going to take a little look around here. I don't think there's any additional notes or anything, but yeah. If you don't see me again, I'll meet you guys back in the store. Bear with. Ooh, hello, sausage. Right, okay, let's jump back in. So in terms of, like, secrets in this actual area, I don't think there's any more in the car park. But, yeah, just one little look again at that. As you can see, we've got wall, we've got big grate, and then we've got wall. So, yeah, as I kind of mentioned, I do think that we are directly connected to Metro here. I guess this might even be <laughs> maybe like the Metro car park or something. Who knows? Um, but, yeah, let's get cracking. Let's get into the main store area itself because we have three more secret notes uh, to check out. So... I think we found two of them in our episode. There are two which are like really obvious and there's one which is a little bit more hidden, I guess. And we're actually in the room. No, we're not. <laughs> is it this room? Uh, where was it? Um, oh, actually, okay. So there is one in here. This one is really, really obvious. You can't exactly miss this. Uh, but this one here says, uh, looks like others have taken the supplies here before us. Better luck next time, I guess. So whoever left this note, there's obviously been a lot of looting involved currently. You know, people have come in and <laughs> from what it looks like, they've probably stolen all the iPads. <laughs> this seems to be like a sort of technical area in this particular zone. Um, but yeah, there is looting in this store. There are people here who are stealing stuff, which obviously just kind of enforces the, the sort of opinion that we aren't the only group out there. There are different survivors. There are different groups. And of course, we do discover that a little bit later on in the cutscene. So where was that other sneaky note? It was here somewhere. Ah, it's in this room. Okay, so what building is this? This is the Spec Squirrels. <laughs> so yeah, I, I don't know if it's the same in America, but in the UK, we have like a glasses place where you get glasses called Spec Savers. Um, and obviously there's only like, a, I think, is Pony the only character that wears glasses? I'm not 100% sure. But, uh, yeah, this is like an optician's, I guess. Um, and it's a little bit sneaky to find it. This is underneath sort of this area. So if we turn our camera and we kind of drop it down. There we go. This note says, I don't feel very well about that tiger. Hmm. I haven't heard him speak once when he's here. So a couple of things about this one. I don't feel very well about the tiger. That's really confusing. It should be, I don't feel very good about the tiger. Either it's just like a weird typo or some bad grammar, but I don't think it would be. I think maybe that well 
might have been put there deliberately. Maybe this is written by someone who is not feeling very well, someone who might be coming down with an infection, maybe. And then it says uh, about the tiger. So I haven't heard him speak once whilst he is here. So of course, at the end cutscene, after we escape this place, we do have that crazy long cutscene in the field and we actually see the tiger character as part of the rival group. So the rival group is called the Silver Paw, and we'll talk about this a little bit later on, but everyone's been wondering what TSP stands for, the Silver Paw. <laughs> Which is funny because we're part of a group called the Safe Place, and that is also TSP, the Safe Place. <laughs> so, I guess one of the questions is, what does TSP stand for, the Silver Paw, or the Safe Place? Who knows? What I think would be really, really useful to do is obviously there's like, you know, a bunch of secret notes all through the game, especially in, you know, chapter one. And then we've got a few of them in chapter two. So I think like one thing that would be really, really interesting is to like go back into like the previous chapters and find any notes that contain the words TSP. So in case you're like not super familiar with the whole piggy law situation, TSP, like, has been, like, the biggest rumor, not the biggest rumor, but it's been one of the rumors in Piggy because no one really knew what it actually stood for. Um, but, yeah, we were kind of, like, wondering way back in the day if it was, like, the secret potato or the secret potion or, you know, all types of things. Um, but, yeah, now we kind of know that it probably stands for one of two things, either the safe place or the silver paw. I think that it's, uh, it's the silver paw because it would make sense why this rival gang has been leaving stuff you know, in and around the places. We aren't alone in this game. You know, there are other groups and obviously the group with Willow and all that kind of stuff. That's going to be the main focus of this storyline here for chapter two. Anyway, we've got one more note left to see. I just need the ladder. <laughs> oh, no, yeah. <laughs> in case you haven't seen this yet, because I didn't get to see it when I was playing the game. Um, it's really cool. You actually physically cut the grass <laughs> and you can cut all of the grass and uh, you actually get like the grass item, which you can give to Zizzy. And you also discover like a key underneath the grass area. <laughs> so just in case you didn't see that when you played it, I thought that was kind of cool. And although we may run out of time here, I completely forgot about the other TV in the uh, <laughs> in the uh, the parking lot garage area. We do have our fourth and final note here located at the top. Uh, and this one is pretty obvious. We saw this when we actually played. But if we zoom in a little bit here, it says, why are we being abandoned? We need the most. And now they leave. So what this actually means is a little bit sort of open-ended but i kind of feel like this might be relating to the silver paw we already have like a little bit of a clue that pony was part of the silver paw but he kind of got like kicked out for what reason we don't know just yet but maybe what happened this is just a speculation there were other members uh, during the virus or before like we discovered them in the silver paw and maybe because they were weak or they were useless or they were talking too much or they weren't very good you know at doing jobs maybe they're actually abandoned and kicked out of the group i don't know just a theory a speculation but it's obviously talking about someone that's been kicked out of somewhere and so far we only have that one single example of pony once being part of the silver paw but now no longer being part of it so I'm sure we'll find out the reasons for that at some point pretty soon. Uh, but anyway, now that we've seen all four of the secret notes and the secret little Metro sort of Easter egg, uh, should we go and look at the end sequence? Yeah, why not? All right, here we go. So this is, I guess, like the first time that we are meeting the official Silver Paw. So as of this moment, they don't want us to know who their organization is. So they go as a code name, which is Settlement 6. So Settlement 6, I don't know what that is. That could just be just a random code name. It could kind of mean that they have six main members, something like that. Who knows? But these are the guys who are on the other end talking. Now, we don't know which person is actually talking to us right now. But obviously, boom, there's our first little clue that TSP, as well as the Silver Paw, can also be the safe place. <laughs> I think it's the silver paw though. That would make way more sense. So this is the part of the storyline where Pony kind of gives us a bit of a clue, although we only find out later on that he was actually at one point part of the silver paw. So out of like all of the people in this room, most people are kind of like, yeah, let's go. Let's, you know, meet some new survivors. It's been months since we've seen anyone. But Pony is the guy who is super, super suspicious. He's saying, you know, we don't know who they are. We might not be able to trust them. I don't think it's a good idea. But I think in the back of Pony's head he always has known that the silver paw is still out there obviously he was a member of them and he's being extra special cautious because he knows out of everyone 
what these guys actually get up to. So, you know, obviously we kind of convince him to go here in this cutscene. Maybe in the back of his head, he's hoping that it isn't the Silver Paw, but obviously he has those previous connections. And as of right now, we don't know exactly why he was kicked out or thrown out of the group, but I'm sure we'll find out at some point. So here we go, next stage of the scene. You can already see Willow just about ready to walk in. And obviously we've met Willow in chapter one. Now, um, like she quickly recognizes us. She recognizes Pony, of course, as to like one of the, oh, actually, hang on. Ah, okay, so I was just counting how many people came out. So you remember they said settlement six? There's five of them. There's one, two, three, four, five. So maybe Pony was like the sixth member of Settlement Six, um, or maybe something like that, you know, the, the the Silver Paw. I imagine that there's probably more people in this group. These might just be like, you know, the main people that go out, you know, on missions and stuff. But I was just seeing if the six had any relevance. I'm not too sure it does. I think that might just be a code name or something. But of course, this is where Pony recognizes Willow. Um, so he recognizes, um, you know, Pony from their previous situation, I suppose. And then Willow also recognizes us because, of course, we arrested her in the prequel episode, which was uh, chapter two, chapter one of, of book two, where we arrested her with Officer Doggy for stealing food to provide for her family. Now, the question is, is it actually her family or is it these people that she was actually stealing food for? We don't know just yet. Ah, so yeah, see, like... Um, Willow has never seen Zizzy before, um, but Zizzy knows all about Willow, so I'd imagine that Pony is probably... I don't know, this is kind of the confusing thing, like, he's never really brought up the Silver Paw in any of the storylines, and yet Willow says, oh, I bet you know all about us then. Well, as a player, I don't think we've ever seen Pony talk about the Silver Paw at any point. I think he's kind of more kept it a secret than anything. He's probably said that there are other crews out there and, you know, they're a bit dodgy and we should be careful, but I don't think he specifically ever talked about that group. If he has in a storyline, I must have missed it, but I'm pretty certain that he hasn't. So if we kind of just like pause there just one second, we can see that one of the characters in one of those secret notes that we saw in the last chapter, chapter two, it talked about the tiger and there's the tiger in the background as part of Willow's crew. So apparently the tiger doesn't talk. <laughs> I don't know why, but yeah, maybe maybe there's something to do with a future storyline on that. Obviously, we had the tiger as a playable character in Chapter 1, but I think this is the first time we've seen it as an NPC in-game. So now we know that the tiger is part of the Golden Paw um, with a bunch of other characters as well. Um, but yeah, is there anything else in this cutscene? Let me check. So yeah, once again, this is where we see the Silver Paw, so TSP, for the second time here. Um, and yeah, this is where Pony reveals to us that he was stuck with them because he didn't really have a choice. He was trying to, you know, find some survivors to stay with. Otherwise, he would have just been on his own. We ask why it was that he left or how he got away. And then Pony says, that's a story for another time, but we have to go and save Zizzy. Um, so I guess what's going to happen is the next mission, it's going to be us and Pony going to another location to try and save Zizzy. Now, where that location is exactly, I have no idea. Maybe we're going to like another settlement. Maybe they were going to like secret base or something. Who knows? Um, but yeah, I imagine that that is going to be the, the basis for chapter three. Um, so yeah, hopefully that will be out at some point pretty soon, but I do think that it's kind of an interesting storyline. I feel like it's quite sort of a common zombie story storyline where you have like a group of survivors and then you have like a group of bad guys, you know, and you kind of have like a little back and forth between them. But it will be interesting to see what happens in the next chapter. So yeah, that's about it for me. Thank you very much for watching. Really hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, please remember to put me in that like button. And if you are not yet subscribed, please make sure you do so you don't miss out on any future videos. But until next time. Thank you once again for watching. It's been such a pleasure. As always, thanks. And see you.